Hey, Booktube Sean here, coming to you with a book review video. Uh, I know I don't do a lot of separate book review videos. I tend to cover that in my weekend books, but I want to start doing more of them. I want to get more content out to you guys rather than just once a week or once every two weeks if I happen to miss a week with my weekend books. Um, and book review videos are a good way to do that. Um, and, I know, and I know I also don't uh, tend to sometimes finish uh, books or multiple books in a week to be able to do that and get more content out to you guys in, within a week but I want to try and I also want to get better at book review videos because I don't feel confident with them and the only way I'm going to get better at them is by doing them right so that is that said this book review video is for Beneath by Christy Demeester now I was kindly sent this by Word Horde at, for an honest review and that is what I always give is an honest review um First of all, can we talk about this cover? Look at this. That cover artwork is, in my opinion, absolutely fantastic. I love that artwork. Um, the cover is by Scott R. Jones. I want to make sure I said that right. Yeah, Scott R. Jones. And uh, that deserves recognition and praise separate from the book because that is just fantastic. Um, makes me want to kind of look him up and see what else he has done if he's... If I, if I can find any other artwork by him. So, Beneath by Christy Demeester. This is about a reporter, Cora Mayburn, who is assigned to cover a story about a snake handling cult in rural, rural Appalachia. I have trouble with the word rural for some reason. Um, and once she gets down there, she... which she reluctantly does because she has her own dark history with... Uh, with religion um which comes out uh more in the novel um she gets down there and the day she happens to get down there is the day all hell starts breaking loose quite literally um an ancient evil wakens from beneath and starts wreaking havoc on the town and and the children of the town and um, it's up to Cora and a priest that she reluctantly has to fight the battle with. Uh, the priest's name is Matthew, uh, who, and he is the priest of the snake handling cult. I really enjoyed this book, um, especially once I got to... I was trying to do five, page, five chapters of this book a day, um, and then I got behind because uh, I was... You guys know me. I read multiple things at a time, and I had gotten hooked into another book, too. So um, I, I fell behind with this, and um, I ended up quickly catching up. Like, I had done, I had set aside five pages, five pages, five chapters a day, and I was going to end up finishing it by that Saturday. I fell 15 chapters behind. I picked it up. I caught all the way up. And finished it the same time I, I thought I, I had planned on finishing it. Because the last 100 pages or so of this book, or I should say the last 20 chapters, just, I couldn't put it down. I just, I, I, I just kept reading and kept reading. Um, the character work in this book was really well done, especially with Korra. Um, you guys know how much I... I love good, well-developed characters with with good backstory and characters who have been through some shit, and you really get that in this book. Um, you, you really get the past of a lot of, of several characters in this book, not just the main protagonist, which I really appreciate. Um, this book, as with I, as I've heard with Christy Demeester's other work. Um, I haven't, I've read a few of her short stories in, uh, in her short story collection. I haven't gotten back to that yet, and I, and I will, but, um, I got, I started reading it right before I got slumpy, so, uh, I do plan on getting back to that, but I have heard that that collection has a, several of the stories have an overarching theme of mother-daughter relationships and you definitely still get that in this book there is definitely a, a theme with her of 
of uh, mother child or or parent parent and child relationships mother mother and daughter being one especially um, but it goes a little bit beyond mother and daughter in this book and and, and, and extends just to parent and child uh, relationships um, so you get a lot of that in this book as well um, so it's got a little bit more depth than uh, some other horror novels I've read and I, and I appreciate that kind of depth in, in a book um, I don't I, I I think horror can be more than just your popcorn you know your pop your popcorn movie style horror um, don't get me wrong I love that style that style of horror but I love it when an author isn't afraid to to take it deeper um there are there are some brutal parts of this book definitely um I, and and i like when things get brutal um there is also the way this book ends i'm still kind of thinking about it um she is not afraid to I, i'm trying to say this without spoiling anything but christy demeester is not afraid to end the book in in, in a non-traditional way, um, a, a non a non-commercial way. I, I almost want to say. Um, she she ends the book the way she wants to end the book, and the end of the book is it it it, it ends just fantastically and just not what I was expecting, and I I really really appreciated that. So. I definitely recommend checking out Beneath by Christy Demeester. She is definitely a horror author to watch. Um, I am really looking forward to whatever she puts out next. And uh, it'll be she'll, she will be probably a pre-order author from me just based on this. So that's it. That is Beneath by Christy Demeester. Um, let me know in the comments uh, if you've read this book, if it sounds interesting to you, or just uh, let me know what horror you're reading, especially female horror authors. If any of you guys out there have good female horror authors um, that you enjoy, other than Anya Allborn, I'm already a big Anya Allborn fan, um, let me know. Um, I really want to get into more badass women horror authors, and Christy Demeester definitely fits that bill. So... Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, and I will see you all in my next video.